Guys, welcome back. Can Veracity survive another market crash? That's the topic for this video. And it's an important one because we saw a 30% sell-off on VRA after yesterday's sell-off to start the month. And I wanna make it clear, October still goes ahead as normal in my personal opinion, right? So we can still look forward to an incredible uh, October, but we need to talk about the elephant in the room. How low can veracity go if the market does indeed sell off? Now, there's a few ways to look at this from a macro perspective. So we can look at, we could put, take everything into, uh, you know, into account and look at it that way, right? So we can get a bird's eye view of things. Or we can look at it from a micro perspective. So we saw 30% sell off, right? If we do see further a further downside decline from where we currently are now, let's just say uh, we go back to where we started uh, for you know for for the year. Well, that would be a thirty percent sell off. That's a thirty percent drawdown. That means if you buy right now, and, and let's say you're looking for the upside move, and price does go back down to where we started for the year, you're down thirty percent on that. To take things further, let's just say for whatever reasons, we see price go back all the way back to where it started in the last bull cycle. Well, that would be a around a 77% drawdown, 80% drawdown. So when you look at it that way, you could, you know, price could go down a lot further. You could be down 80% of your money. You could be down 90% of your money. And to make it, to make it, to be completely honest, for that to happen, this product essentially needs to, some bad fundamental data comes out about the team or the project, or we see a catastrophic black swan event for the cryptocurrency space. So I know a lot of people, their hearts are going to be beating out their chest saying, wait, wait a second, this thing can sell off 80%. That would be real bad. For that to happen, it's basically the end, right? It's basically the end. So more realistically would be a sell off back to where we started for the year, which is about 30%. So really the way I'm looking at this now is can we survive a crash? Well, I believe we can. Even if we go back to our, our, our you know, our, where we started for the year, that's 30% drawdown. Remember, this is a micro cap project. So from a macro perspective, last time we updated on this, it was a $30 million, $34 million market cap. It's now just above, just below a $31 million market cap. So when you look at it from a broader context, actually, the market cap is still pretty much the same. This is a micro cap. So even if price did go down to 15 million, which is to be a 15, a 50% drawdown, I mean, it's it's all it's all within the same region. This is under a 50 million dollar market cap. And my motto is, and one of the, the things that's helped you know us and our team to be quite successful in uh, this cryptocurrency space is we try not to look at that mic that micro perspective all the time because it often stops you from making very very good uh, or just risk reward positions so for me any project that i see with potential real utility actually doing work and is under a 50 million dollar market cap for me that's an incredible opportunity i don't care if it goes down to 25 million from there which is a 50 percent sell off i don't care if it goes down to a 20 million dollar market cap for me is a value play. It's under 50 million. It's a great opportunity. Even if I don't decide to DCA, right? It's still, I still make a fortune if it hits a billion dollar market cap. So that's just the way I personally look at it. Now, not everybody's going to look at that the same. For them, they're only focusing on the short term. So therefore, any small percentage gain, you're going to be more sensitive to it. But even if you're looking at it from the micro perspective, I'm sure many of us will survive a 30% drawdown, right? Most people would, would survive a 30% drawdown, and which I think will be the very worst case scenario any, if any more sell-offs occur for this uh, project, right? So that's the good news. So to answer the question in the video, can Veracity survive another sell-off? I do think it will, but I think the better question is, what are you in this for? Do you think Veracity has hit a baseline? And what that means is this, 
if you look at the majority of cryptocurrency projects, even some of the OGs, uh, the, the products that were that that were released when Bitcoin first started, when these projects sell off, so let's say you see the sell off. Here's an example: you see price sell off, it sells off again, it sells off again. Then we see enough a big sell off, and then it flatlines. You can go back look at most projects that are down, you know, ninety percent or so. So in this case, ninety six percent. You will see that price sells off. It sells off. And then at some point, it just finds a baseline, a, a, you know, a flat line, right? Now, as I just showed you, Veracity has about, I believe, maybe a 30, 40% sell off before that flat line occurs. Even if you look at the range, this is almost like a flat line, but we let's not go that far. This could still be potential drawdown here. But with that being said, once a project has hit its flat line, hit its base, there's nowhere to go but up after that. Even if the project is has had all of its value wiped away, really and truly, this is the reason why people go back and start buying OG projects just in case it breaks out one day. Because the way they see it is the market can't go any lower. So all they're taking advantage of is upside move. And that's my perspective on this. I'm looking at this from, well, all I'm doing is capturing upside potential now right so even with that 30 percent move i think we survive it but with that being said this is a month of october and i think we're actually going to break out now and start to see an aggressive upside move now i'm going to be posting veracity updates all week uh, all month so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any more updates also don't forget to join the free telegram group because i'm going to post my first update of the month very very soon in there and i also have a video where i show you how to make a hundred thousand dollars in one month and 16 days completely free of charge and what a better month to watch that video than october so join the free telegram group below do that right this second i'll speak to you all soon and remember nothing that you see in this video is financial advice always make sure to do your own independent research and with that being said guys seize the day